Some people really just have to touch everything. Well, when it comes to these snakes, though, you better control your urge, because touching these snakes can be the last thing you'll ever do. With that said, here are 10 of the most dangerous snakes you should never touch. Number 10. The Death Adder. If the thought of touching any animal with the word death in its name has ever come across your mind, then there's clearly something wrong with you. The Death Outer is a highly venomous snake found in Australia and New Guinea. These absolute beasts of the snake kingdom actually specialize in hunting and killing other snakes, including some on this list, usually via ambush. They have looks similar to that of vipers in that they have triangular shaped heads and short squat bodies. Small as they are, they're actually pretty fast and of course deadly to boot. It also holds the record for the quickest strike in the world. A Death Adder can go from strike position to its striking and back within a thirteenth of a second. An untreated Death Adder bite is one of the most dangerous in the world. The venom itself is a neurotoxin which causes paralysis and without treatment can cause death within six hours due to respiratory failure. There is an anti-venom for this snake which has a high success rate due to the slow-acting nature of the poison, but it's still not a good idea to lay a hand on them as their bite's fatality rate is around 50%. Number 9. The Philippine Cobra Found only in the northern provinces in the Philippines, the Philippine Cobra is a snake greatly feared by locals, and honestly, you should be fearing it too. Drop for drop, its venom is the deadliest of all the cobra species, and they are capable of spinning up to 10 feet and can do so with deadly accuracy. The neurotoxic venom has adverse effects on cardiac and respiratory functions and can cause neurotoxicity, respiratory paralysis, and death in as little as 30 minutes. They can be found virtually everywhere in low-lying plains and forested regions, open fields, grasslands, dense jungle, agricultural fields, and of course, human settlements. They're extremely adept at controlling the population of vermin in agricultural fields, so they have some kind of a love-hate relationship with the locals. Their prey usually consists of small mammals, as well as frogs and even other snakes. Small rodents such as mice and small rats are their favorite prey and make up the majority of their diets. However, they also will eat other sizable snakes, small lizards, frogs, eggs, and when the opportunity arises, small birds as well. Number 8. The Black Mamba Black Mambas are the fastest land snakes in the world, which isn't really good because they just also happen to be one of the most venomous. They've been blamed for hundreds of human deaths, and African myths exaggerate their capabilities to legendary proportions. For these reasons, many consider the Black Mamba to be the world's deadliest snake. They're found in many parts of Africa, and they're considered to be Africa's longest venomous snake, reaching up to 14 feet in length, but the average is about more 8.2 feet, actually. They've been clock slithering at speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. They are naturally shy snakes, and will more often slither away and hide when disturbed. However, when they're cornered, they will raise their heads and sometimes with a third of their body off the ground, spread their cobra-like neck flap, open their black mouths, and make a hissing sound to serve as a warning. If the perceived threat doesn't back down, the mamba will then strike not once, but repeatedly, injecting large amounts of potent neuro and cardiotoxin with each strike. Before the advent of black mamba anti-venom, a bite from this fearsome serpent was almost always fatal, usually within about 20 minutes. Unfortunately though, anti-venom is still not widely available in the rural parts of the Mamba's range, and Mamba-related deaths remain pretty frequent. Number 7. The Eastern Brown Snake The Eastern Brown Snake is one of the many deadly animals that live in Australia and New Guinea. They make their home in dry areas, so can normally be found in grasslands, scrublands, and sparse forests. It's so venomous that only about 1 in 14,000 of an ounce of its venom is enough to kill an adult human. Like the Black Mamba before it, it's very fast and under certain circumstances will be extremely aggressive. In fact, it's been known to chase after aggressors and repeatedly strike at them. They're so dangerous that even juveniles have been known to deliver fatal bites to humans. Unfortunately though, its preferred habitat is also along the major population centers of Australia, which means that this snake and humans regularly cross paths. Its venom contains both neurotoxins and blood coagulants. Fortunately for us humans, though, around half of the bites are dry and contain no venom whatsoever. In fact, despite my mention of aggression, they prefer not to bite at all if possible. They quickly react to movement, though, so when you encounter one out in the wild, do it drags and stands so still that it renders you invisible. Or, you know, just pray to whatever god you got there. Number 6. The Mainland Tiger Snake Found along the southeastern coast of Australia, from New South Wales and Victoria to Tasmania and the far corner of South Australia, 
The deadly mainland tiger snake packs a very potent neurotoxic venom. Its venom can cause pain, tingling, numbness, and sweating, followed by a fairly rapid onset of breathing difficulties and paralysis. They're responsible for the second highest number of bites in Australia, mainly because they prefer hanging out in densely populated areas along the east coast, including some metropolitan areas of Melbourne. Depending on where they're found, they prey on various types of frogs, lizards, birds, and mammals. They're attracted to farms and other suburban houses where they nocturnally hunt mice, during which time stepping on one accidentally in the darkness is an ever-present danger. Bites are always fatal if left untreated, and when anti-venom is readily available, it's still not a good idea to pat one on the head. Number 5. Vipers. Which ones, though? Well, basically all of them, but especially the saw-scaled viper and the chain viper, which ties for the most venomous vipers in the world. These two deadly serpents can be found primarily in the Middle East and Central Asia, particularly India, China, and Southeast Asia. However, no matter where in the world they come from, vipers are quick-tempered and even quicker to strike. Most vipers have venom that cause symptoms that begin with pain at the site of the bite and immediately followed by swelling of the bitten body part. Bleeding is also a common symptom, especially from the gums. It also causes heart rate to slow down, thus decreasing blood pressure. Blisters will then quickly form around the bite area as well and will quickly spread out. Perhaps the most gruesome effect of the venom is necrosis, which is the literal rotting of the flesh of the bite victim, which can be limited to the muscles surrounding the bite, or in severe cases, spread all over the affected limb. Bite victims also report excruciating pain that lasts anywhere from two to four weeks. Fortunately, though, there is an anti-venom for most viper venom, so fatalities are rare. However, when there are fatalities, they usually succumb to septicemia, respiratory or cardiac failure which may happen as late as 14 days after the bite, and sometimes even longer. Number 4. The Malayan Blue Crate The Malayan Blue Crate is an extremely venomous snake making its home in peninsular Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, and Sumatra in Southeast Asia. It's probably the most venomous snake found in Asia, but there's no doubt that it's one of the most venomous on Earth. They live in a wide variety of habitats, often close to a water source. Amongst their preferred habitats are rocky areas and waterways, but it also inhabits shrubby areas with sandy soils, hill forests, primary evergreen forests, or plantations as well. They're also extremely dangerous. According to surveys conducted throughout Southeast Asia and Indonesia, 50% of bites from the deadly blue crate are fatal, and that's even when anti-venom is administered. The venom is a neurotoxin, which is 16 times more potent than that of a cobra. It quickly induces muscle paralysis by preventing the ability of nerve endings to properly release the chemical that sends the message to the next nerve. This is followed by a period of massive cramps, tremors, spasms, which finally tails off to paralysis. Even if the patient makes it to a hospital, permanent coma and even brain death from hypoxia is always a risk. Number 3. The Mozambique Spitting Cobra The Mozambique Spitting Cobra is a very common snake in Africa with a very potent venom. The species accounts for many snake bites, and for that reason, it's considered one of the most dangerous snakes in Africa. They're found mostly in lowland forests and most savannas, where it prefers broken, rocky country, hollow logs, termite mounds, and animal holes. They're often found close to water sources, to which it will readily retreat if disturbed. These snakes seldom stand their ground. If cornered, it may spread its hood. However, its main defense, other than retreating into hiding, is to spit out its venom with uncanny accuracy. Although their fangs are specifically designed for spitting, they also bite in some occasions. 50 milligrams of their venom is fatal to humans, and on average, a single bite can contain 180 milligrams of this toxic substance. A bite that doesn't receive early treatment will result in major tissue damage, which can only be repaired with skin grafts. However, with early administration of anti-venom, the extent of tissue damage may be reduced and fatalities are rare. Now it's time for the day's best pick. We have a couple of snakes here for you, actually. One of them completely harmless, but the other, not so much. But these guys look so similar, can you guess which one is safe to touch and which one will send you straight to your grave? Well, stick around to find out as this might really save your life. With that said, number two, the coral snake. One of these snakes is a coral snake, one of the most venomous snakes in the world. They have the second strongest venom of any snake. They're slender and small, typically between 18 and 20 inches long, with some species reaching about 3 feet. They have bulbous, almost necklace heads, rounded noses, and similar-looking tails, meaning that it can be hard to tell a snake's head from its tail. The most distinctive physical characteristics of coral snakes are their brightly colored and patterned bodies, short fixed fangs, and potent venom. 
While only some species have elements of coral coloring, all species have eye-catching patterns and colors. And it's this vibrant coloring that is mimicked by the Scarlet King Snake, a small and relatively harmless constrictor. The question is, how do you tell which one is which? Herpetologists follow this old adage, red and yellow can kill a fellow, red and black means you're safe, Jack. This just means if you see a snake whose red bands are right next to its yellow bands, better keep your hands off it because it's definitely the deadly coral snake. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Inland Taipan The undisputed king of all venomous snakes is the Inland Taipan. It has the most toxic venom of any land snake in the world, but believe it or not, there's never been a single recorded human fatality from a bite of this snake. Inland Taipans are mammal specialists, meaning they only eat mammals, most commonly rats. The snake corners the rat in its burrow or in deep cracks in the soil, then bites it quickly several times without releasing it. The venom acts so quickly that the victim doesn't have time to fight back. The venom of the Inland Taipan is by far the most potent venom of any land snake in the world. In fact, it's about 50 times more toxic than the venom of the Indian Cobra. The venom itself is actually a powerful cocktail of enzymes and other agents that paralyzes nerve endings, destroy muscle tissue, and causes severe bleeding as well. What's your favorite deadly snake? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.